This video is brought to you by Perpetual Time for your high-end luxury watch repair, restoration, servicing and authentication needs. Police are on the hunt for Rolex robbers on mopeds and e-bikes and they use machetes to force people to hand over their luxury watches. And get this, some 109 incidents have been recorded in how long you might think? Six months? A year? No, two months. And that's in some of London's worst areas you might think? No, most desirable locations, areas, postcodes, and that includes areas including Westminster, Kensington, Chelsea, Hammersmith and Fulham. And there were 42 watch robberies between April 26th and May 30th. So a uh, couple of days over one month and a further 67 in the following month, an increase of more than 60%. And on July the 12th, a couple was followed by a moped rider who threatened them with a machete in broad daylight. And that was around 10, 10, 10 a.m. And that was around Bolton's Conservation Area in Chelsea. And they were forced to hand over their Audemars Piguet and Patek Philippe watches and I've, seen, I've also reported on similar incidents, which you can see right now on the screen. Um, if you want to see that report, you can. Just uh, check out on my channel. And just two days later, a woman was threatened with a knife by two people on a motorbike and was forced to give them her watch and bracelet. That was at 9.45 p.m. and that was in Kensington and Chelsea. And on July the 4th, two people on a motorbike knocked down a man in his 50s before getting a knife out and stealing his Rolex watch, believed to be worth around £20,000, and his wedding ring. And that was between 9 and 10 p.m. in Kensington and Chelsea. So what are the police going to do about it? Well, Detective Chief Superintendent Owen Richards in charge of policing for Central West BCU, said, We want people living in and visiting our city to enjoy the summer safely. No one should have to go about their day in fear of thieves. Sadly, across Westminster and neighbouring boroughs, we're seeing a rise in these offences as criminals take advantage of the longer days and the busy streets. No, I don't, I don't think they're taking advantage of longer days because even during the winter they've been doing the same things. They're probably taking advantage of no risk. There's not much risk. Um, they're probably not going to get caught. And if they do get caught, the consequences are pretty small. They're not going to be locked up in jail for 10 years. They'll probably get a fine, probation and um, slap on the wrist. And he continued and he says, we know the impact these crimes have on each and every victim. And that is why we have this week launched an operation focused on tackling this issue. Extra officers have been put in place in locations where the, these crimes are most common, including those from specialist units like our Operation Venice teams. This is a top priority, uh, he says, and he says, we have already made a number of arrests, but we need your help. And he's asking people to report these robberies as soon as they happen. Well, isn't that normal? Who doesn't report being robbed on the street with a machete? Um, he says he knows lots of these offenses are recorded on mobile phones or doorbells, and they're keen to see the footage. So they say, please, if you have anything that shows a street robbery taking place, get in touch. And anything that helps uh, build up a picture of individuals carrying out these crimes could be crucial to them finding them and pulling a stop to their behavior. So anyone who has footage or information about any of those cases, uh, any street robberies, they can contact 101 quoting Operation Furbish. 
And during the summer in London, like many other cities across the UK, uh, they say they will see increased footfall, bigger crowds of people and more densely packed streets create a more agile operating ground for street robbers. And they say alongside proactive operations, the Met Police has dedicated teams of officers and detectives focusing on responding effectively to reports of robbery as they happen on a daily basis. So I think what they should be doing is giving harsher sentences, not just slap on the wrist, probation and um, a small fine, something a bit more serious. And I fear that what is starting to happen is what has already happened and is flourishing throughout the United States, especially in California and Los Angeles, where you get uh, gangs of individuals just walk up to Beverly Hills, smash and grab. They uh, go to a restaurant. They, they find out who's... They probably follow people. Uh, they're spotters looking at what watches they have and snatch and grab. Put a, go- a, a gun to their face and say, give me a watch. Whereas in the UK, it's harder to get a gun. So a machete. So um, sad times, sad, sad situation. Let me know your thoughts. Do you feel safe walking around the streets of London, even in high-class areas such as uh, Kensington and Chelsea or Westminster? Do you feel safe? And if you don't, where would you feel safe walking around, uh, enjoying your day, wearing your luxury watch? Let me know your thoughts on this situation. And do you feel that what's happening in California is going to spread and continue in the UK. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below and please do subscribe to Lux Report. Click on the bell icon, click to receive all notifications and we'll keep you updated on all the latest happenings in the watch world. If you're looking to make a watch purchase, then be sure to contact Alex at Perpetual Time first. Perpetual Time offers an authenticity check, which includes verification and condition reports. His years of experience speaks for itself, and of course, backed up by five-star reviews on Trustpilot. Perpetual Time will verify the watch, check it on the watch register, lost and stolen database, and even possibly the manufacturer's database. They will also check the case, bracelet and movement, case serial number, model serial number, also the timekeeping and the sealing. Alex will fully assess the watch and give you a video recording of all these checks and assessments. Once both buyer and seller agree with the transaction and set deal, Perpetual Time will hold the watch in its fully insured secure vaults. Once the transaction has been completed and confirmations that the watch has been paid for, then the watch will be released to the buyer. This authentication service could save you lots of headache and a ton of money. Contact Alex at Perpetual Time now to have a watch authenticated. Link for Perpetual Time is in the description section below this video.